Hello and welcome to ProjectWise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course, Advanced Capabilities. In this lesson, we will explore some advanced capabilities that are available in ProjectWise. The first capability we will discuss is PDF generation. This will allow PDFs to be generated and stored in ProjectWise. Then we will discuss how we can use the PDFs we just generated and create markup and then share with project team members. Finally, we will take a look at how we can enable deleted items and configure the time deleted folders and documents will be available in ProjectWise for restore. These advanced capabilities are already available in ProjectWise when we connect to Bentley hosted ProjectWise data sources. If you are connecting to data sources hosted by your own organization, then it will need further configuration in order to utilize these advanced capabilities. Once we have complete making changes to the document, whether it be a Word or Excel document or a CAD file, and we wish to generate a PDF version of it so that it can be distributed to other project team members for review. We can select the document or documents, right mouse click, create renditions. We can choose PDFs to be generated in black and white, 11 by 17 or the D paper size. We can also choose color as well as the name and location where the PDFs will be stored. This is what we refer as rendition profile, and it needs to be configured ahead of time. For more information about setting up rendition profile, you can refer to the module I Model Composition Server for PDF in the Advanced Accreditation course. We can also enable email notification once the PDFs has been generated. Email notification will also be sent even if there are errors during PDF generation. We can click on the view active jobs to see if there is any request of generating PDF lining up in the queue. We can then click submit to put in a request to generate PDF. We receive an email notification to let us know that the PDFs have been generated successfully. The name and the link of the PDFs are also embedded in the email. Clicking on it will direct us to the ProjectWise folder where the PDFs are stored. Remember the flat set we created in an earlier lesson? We can use flat set to generate PDF. What it will do is it will use all the documents in the flat set and generate a multi-page PDF. We can also use this attribute that is assigned to each document in the flat set to decide the order of printing the document in the multi-page PDF. Generating the PDF from the flat set is the same as generating it from the single document. We just select the flat set, right mouse click, create renditions, and click submit. When we generate a multi-page PDF, the name of the flat set will be used as the name of the PDF. Let's go ahead and hit OK. We receive an email notification letting us know that the PDF generated from the flat set. Clicking on it will direct us to the PDF stored in ProjectWise. We can view the multi-page PDF just generated via the Photo Preview tab. If we need to create markup for the PDF, we can right mouse click on the PDF, PDF markup. A Bentley web portal appears in front of us. We can navigate to the page that we want to generate the markup. For example, the door may need to be widened to 32 inch. We can go to the menu on the top and select shapes draw or highlight the area that needs attention, then click on the cloud shape, and then click on the create issue icon. Here we can type in the door needs to extend to 32 inch. We can assign to a project team member and when it needs to be resolved by and click save. The project team member who has been assigned 
to look after the issue receives a notification via connection client. She will see what needs to be modified as well as when it needs to be corrected by. FYI, the PDF markup we had earlier was not directly written to the PDF document, but rather it stored the markup in a separate file with extension XFDF. In the next few minutes, we will discuss how we can restore deleted folders and documents in ProjectWise. But first, we need to make sure deleted items is enabled via ProjectWise Administrator Data Source Settings tab. We also want to define how long we want to keep deleted folders and documents in ProjectWise. Currently, it is set to two months. On top of this, we also need to decide which ProjectWise user will have access to deleted items via user settings, general, and enable can access deleted items folder. We need to be diligent about who has access to the deleted items folder because these individuals will be able to restore and permanently empty the deleted items folder, even the folders and documents that are deleted by other users. There are times users can accidentally delete documents or even folders in ProjectWise. Once the deleted items feature has been enabled, ProjectWise administrators or those who have access to deleted items folder can always restore them. So let's see how it works. We are going to delete this folder by mistake and you might notice that this folder has documents as well as subfolders. There are multiple versions of this document agrocery.dgn and projectwise recognize that it has references attached. This document also has the attribute print order assigned to it. So let's go ahead and delete this folder and see what happens. Let's go ahead and delete all subfolders as well. Click delete. Now we just realized that we have deleted the folder and all its documents by mistake. So let's go to the deleted items location. What we will need to do is that if we need to restore documents as well as folders, we will need to select both the folders and documents to be restored, including the versions as well. In this instance, we don't really need to restore the documents from the subfolder. So we're not going to select those. Go ahead and right mouse click restore. Go ahead and click yes. We can see the operation completed successfully. So let's go ahead and click close. Here we see that the design files folder has been restored as well as its documents. It also maintained the original document information such as the file updated and the file updated by. The document attribute print order of two is also maintained. If the document has versions, it will be restored as well. The only thing that cannot be restored is the reference file dependency, but this can easily be re-established by running the scan ref utility. Users who have access to the deleted items folder can restore deleted files back to its original folder location. Or users can select the deleted documents, right mouse click and restore it to a different folder location. Yes, we want to restore the deleted documents to a different folder location. Let's go ahead and click close. Users who have access to deleted items can restore deleted documents to a different folder. However, if documents have been assigned as no access, then it still cannot be viewed or accessible to those users. During this lesson, we have learned how PDFs can be generated and stored in ProjectWise. We also learned how PDFs can be marked up, share, and collaborate between project team members as well as enabling deleted items to restore deleted folders and documents in ProjectWise.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.